Wow. Seriously, dude. The higher fin. Someone definitely wants marriage with you. If you're in a relationship with this person, this person wants to move things to the higher level of commitment, to the next level, okay? If you're dating, if, um, whatever, right? But they're definitely wanting something to do with you. Wow. Seriously. If you're in a relationship, you're getting into a relationship, they're going to offer you a relationship. Looks like someone who you wanted this for a very long time, okay? You could have walked away from this person. You could have stopped manifesting this person, okay? But yeah, looks like if you were did manifest... It's coming true. If you've walked away, this person's manifesting you back with their full power. They feel they have everything that they need to get you back. And they're going to make it work out, baby. And with the higher frontier, they want commitment. They want something traditional. They feel this is a very spiritual connection, okay? Something that is meant to be. You've learned your lessons. They've learned their lessons. Tell me more. Tell me more. You could be dealing with someone who's juggling you, okay? Who was going back and forth with the decision, who was very indecisive. Could be someone who's juggling you with another person. It doesn't have to be, okay? But this is definitely someone who's not sure. I'm getting someone who's emotionally wanted, who's emotionally very unavailable. Someone who had a hard time expressing themselves. Someone who didn't open up, but they're coming in. They're coming in. They want to come in and balance out the situation with you, for sure. They want to make things right and do it the right way. They just watch. They're watching you. This person is watching you from a distance, keeping tabs on you, watching you on social media, <coughs> literally watching every mood you're, move you're making, what's going on in your life, being nosy. They could be asking your friends. But yeah, they're watching you from a distance. They're watching you from a distance. They're doing all their research before they come in. Let me know. Let me know if that's how they unlock this. Queen of Wands. That's how they see you, see? They see you as like the shit. They see you as the boss. You're the badass here. They see you as someone very, very attractive, very sexy, very good looking, someone who's very passionate about what they want. They know that once you set your eyes on something, you got it. But they also see you as someone who realizes that uh, you have a lot of confidence and you don't need to chase them. They've stopped chasing you. You've stopped, stopped chasing them and now they're about to chase you. They're wanting to chase you, watching you again, like I said, wanting to come in and balance out the situation. Maybe in the past they were probably, you know, uh, very indecisive, like I said, right? They were lacking clarity. They now have clarity. They're coming in with commitment for sure. And they're manifesting this. This is fast, quick communication, okay? A lot of fast-paced progress coming in. Could be someone who's living at a distance from you. But that's online communication. Someone wants to move things fast, okay? Things will just progress really quickly. You won't be expecting this. This is going to be so unexpected, out of the blue. Out of nowhere is this person going to come in and communicate and tell you all this. Tell me more, please. There's a lot of passion here. For sure. Wow. Dude. Four of Wands. They definitely want to marry you. Definitely. With the Hierophant and Four of Wands. For sure. Four of, and this? Seriously. I've been like shuffling in front of you. Ten of Cups. They want the happily ever after with you, Scorpio. This is... A very sexy reading for you. This person wants commitment with you. They want marriage. They're very serious about you. Very serious. You're probably looking, not looking at them or you're not expecting this. You're probably even doing you. You're probably very focused on your own business, your goals, or you're just doing what makes you happy. <clears throat> you're sitting tight on your throne, not making a move, waiting for them to come towards you. And they are. They are. Probably someone who's immature in communication. Someone who doesn't really communicate very well, you know. But they're coming in. Nice. You have a wish come true. This is someone who's put you on a pedestal, okay? They see you as a star. They see you as someone who's unreachable. They, but they want it. They want it now. And they want it bad. They're obsessed with you. <clears throat> Addicted. 
they're addicted and obsessed with you. They feel very stuck and tied and bound to you. <clears throat> they do see this as something that uh, is meant to be, of course. I will start here. Something's fated. Something's destined. Something's going to happen at the right time. Regardless, you have a wish coming true, okay? This person's healed and they're coming back correct to you. They've taken their time to heal and they're coming back towards you. They have a, there is a renewal in love is what I'd say. That's a reconciliation. <clears throat> Tell me more, please. What else can Scorpio expect in love? What else can Scorpio expect in love? Nine of Swords. <clears throat> I think this person has a lot of regret about whatever happened in the past. They have regret about the way things ended here because something could have ended badly here. They want resurrection. They want recovery. They want to put an end to the bullshit, okay? To that overanalyzing, overthinking. <clears throat> you could have felt very backstabbed and betrayed by this person, okay? Like I said, something completely failed. You felt defeated, okay? You probably surrendered, okay, to this relationship. You no longer fought for this. You went on to your own way and did, and, and you were doing you. And now this person is regretting every single move that they didn't make towards you. Every single time they should have taken you seriously or they should have worked on, worked on this connection. If they would have, this ending wouldn't have come. See, they have this epiphany, that huge realization. The universe has given them a hundred signs, you know. <clears throat> they didn't listen. And that's when the tower moment came. You let the tower fall too, you did. They weren't expecting this. You let the tower fall. You let this person go. You let things end. <clears throat> and you're on their mind on a constant basis. They're stressing a lot about how they can achieve all this with you. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles. This is someone who's trying to juggle, trying to see which is the best way, the best route to approach you. Because they're still trying to gather more information about you because they're the Page of Swords. You're the Queen of Wands. That's like a big energetic difference, right? They could also be intimidated to, by you to a certain level. But yeah, they have a lot of regret about what they didn't do and what they should have done. Hermit. This person's contemplating. This person's done a lot of thinking. <clears throat> this person's taken their time off. This could be someone who's ghosted you or you've ghosted. But yeah, they've taken their time off. And now they've decided to come towards you with the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone very, very slow moving, okay? That's someone who's not even moving with the Knight of Pentacles. But yeah. It is moving, but it's on a daughter's. Slow moving, slow and steady, okay? But that's a very a very determined level, very stubborn level, okay? They have a lot of love for you. They have a lot of emotions. They want to offer stability. They're not going nowhere. Seriously, take it from me. This person's going nowhere. It's just that they're too slow towards you, okay? You're like the queen of wands. You're like quick now, quick moment, you know, fast. You could probably be, you, you can manage to juggle like a lot of projects together. You can do a lot of things together. People would literally respect you and like literally appreciate it for what you are. But this person out here with the Knight of Pentacles, they're slow moving. They're, I mean, to me, the Knight of Pentacles is like the single mover, you know, someone who's got their own pace. They've got their own way of doing things. Like they don't care whether, you know, you're moving out or moving in, whatever. They're going to take their own time. They reach their goal. That's that, that's the good part about them. They reach their goal. OK, but yeah, you're definitely dealing with a ghost. Right? OK, someone who keeps ghosting you. So which can give you a lot of mixed signals. One second, they're with you. The second, they're not. And you're like, dude, you know, two of pentacles, right? Constantly in and out of your life. But this time, when they come around, right, they're, they're doing research before they come to you. And when they come to you, right, with a half and four of wands here, oh, dude, you're getting locked down. They're going to propose you, I'm guessing. Tell me more. Tell me more. They do feel you have a lot of suitors, you know. And they're watching you. They're watching if you're with someone else or what's going on. You're still single. Whoa. Okay, I'll take it. That looks nice. For the high priestess here, they see you as someone who's very, very, um, you're like this, um, this price. Their eyes are on you. Their eyes are on the price. Okay. And they're coming for you for sure. For the nine of pentacles here, they see you as someone who realizes their worth, their value. They realize your worth and value. They see you as financially independent, someone who's absolutely abundant on their own. Okay. On their own. Okay. You don't need anyone. You know, there is, um, no dependency. They see you as someone very independent of any other person. Uh, you're enjoying the best of your life. 
you're enjoying your money, you're enjoying a luxurious life, taking care of yourself, taking care of your body, looking sexy, partying, having fun out there, and you don't really give a shit about this person, okay? You don't. They say you are someone, you know, this is someone you're giving the silent treatment. But again, you trust your intuition. You always knew they were coming back, right? You kept to yourself. But this person definitely took their time. So yeah, this person took their time before they came to you. <clears throat> they're coming around. For sure, they're coming around. They have a lot of regret. A lot of regret. What is the outcome? That means copy on the person they're dealing with. What is the outcome? Wow, you're starting a brand new chapter with this person with the world and the death card here, right? Someone's coming in. This is a transition. This is a 180 degrees turn. That's like a huge transformation in this person, okay? They're letting the old go. They're letting their old ways go. Old ways go. They're letting the new come in. That's like a huge change. It's a transition. It's a change. You weren't expecting this. You probably completed a cycle with this person, okay? That's resurrection. That's rebirth. You guys have learned your lessons, both of you. And they want a brand new cycle with you. Give me one more card for come to this. Wow. Okay. Ten of Pentacles and the Judgment. They want a second chance with you. Flat out. I rest my case. They want a second chance with you. They want um, not only want, they want a second chance with you, but with the Ten of Pentacles, yeah, they're bringing a lot of stability. Okay. They're starting a new chapter. They're wanting to move things forward with you. They've reached a particular milestone with you. You could have, you could definitely be at a distance from this person. Dis distance could be an issue between you guys for sure. But you're yeah, definitely someone who's doing a lot of watching, okay? But seriously, the only thing I can say is this time around, they're pretty serious about you. Because I'm getting you were in circles with this person, okay? They kept doing a lot of thinking. They kept doing a lot of ghosting. And you kept wondering like, whoa, what's going on? Are we, are you in this or not? You finally left, you finally took off, left the building. And that's when they realized that they should stop the juggling and they need to make a decision. They're coming in to balance it out. Yep. You manifested them. You manifested them. <clears throat> but this is something that is meant to be. You can't deny this. And nor can they. They see you as someone who is single and um, someone who is uh, doing very good on their own. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, but they're coming in with that second chance, okay? They want a reconciliation. Ten of Pentacles, that's marriage commitment. I have all marriage and commitment cards out here on the table. So, yeah. Hierophant, four of wands, ten of Pentacles. There's not much I can say. I'm just saying that if you thought that things were over, they're not. If you thought they're never going to come to commit to you, they're never going to be serious about you, they're never going to take things to the high level of commitment, they are. They are. For sure. They're coming in hot and heavy. <coughs> so that's what I have for you, Scorpio. That's a beautiful reading. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.